Hello, welcome to a new episode in the FLTK Rust series. In this episode, uh, we've tried to customize FLTK's uh, toggle button to look something like this or this. Uh, so uh, I have a uh, just a basic uh, FLTK project. Uh, we have the window, and let's, uh, for example, for starters, let's uh, set the color of the window white, and let's. Uh, get a toggle button, the default one from FLTK is uh, let's say 8040 with label and let's uh, draw a circle as we've seen in the last one of the last uh, episodes and uh, basically that is it so uh, let's try cargo run. So it looks something like this. It keeps its state. You can query it using the isSet method. So uh, let's put it at the center of the uh, window. Just so we can work on it. We can basically, after that, refactor all the styling into a separate uh, function. And uh, here, for example, um, we can change the uh, color of the toggle. Uh, first, let's change, for example, the label color. So, color white also. And we can also change the color of the toggle button itself. Uh, let's choose uh, something like a dark gray. So, uh, something like this for when it's uh, deactivated okay and let's choose for example uh, the selection color you want something basically like this color for iOS And let's also um, basically align this label to the left. So uh, let's just say with align, align side, align left. And let's uh, just format this. Okay. So we've, uh, we've seen that the label itself is on the left side. We can increase the size of the circle. Okay, we can change the shape of the frame of the button itself. So, and we can remove also the, uh, the dotted line. We can use the clear visible focus. So let's say, for example, toggle. And the uh, said the frame of the toggle itself. So use a, an R flat box, a rounded flat box. Okay. So we want to check whether it's set or not in the callback. Basically, just change the alignment of the. Uh, circle here, so uh, and we want to access the toggle itself ft is set t set line basically to the right side else t set Line uh, to the left side and app redraw. And basically, we've said here this goes to the left, this goes to the right. Uh, 
Okay. We can also change the uh, size, for example, uh, make it a bit smaller. So uh, let's say 35 and the uh, width, uh, let's say uh, 60, for example. Okay, so this looks a bit better. Uh, if we change, for example, the height uh, a bit more, so let's say 25. Okay. So this isn't bad, and we can also try to get the square things. So the last one we've seen looks like the one from Android. We can change the label color as well. Uh, if you wanted a square, you can basically just uh, draw a square, so plus 9 square, and uh, just keep this, for example, a flat box. Okay. We can also give the label a color, for example, so here um, I'll leave it uh, an exercise uh, to the reader. You, you'd have to find the <laughs> the hex code of these two colors and uh, just basically just set the selection color uh, for this and the label color for this, and you would get the uh, something looking like the uh, Android one or this one. Uh, that was basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching it. Uh, hopefully, I'll be creating more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.